All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning back in to another PSA submission reveal. This one is the 80s, 90s special that they ran in December from PSA. I just scrambled and put together 13 cards, a couple that I had in my collection from a long time ago, and then a couple that I picked up on eBay or Mercari, and uh, 10 minimum to get that. I think it was $15.99 um, or it was $14.99. One of those two per card to grade. So I want to take advantage of that. And so that's what we did. Before I do get into it, I do want to just say I am a little disappointed. I know older cards usually don't quite grade as well as newer cards, clearly, because obviously that makes sense. But definitely a little disappointed because I thought I had a couple more gems in here than what turned out to be. So anyway, here we go. Let's get right into it. Let's take a look and see what we got. All right, so first we got a Jordan. We got the Jordan Mint 9. This is from Topps 93. Uh, this card was super clean. I, I think one issue with these is maybe a little discoloration, I would say. Um, but this card was super clean, super centered. So definitely a little disappointed with that. But it is what it is. Make a 9 pile right there. Actually, let's put the 9 pile. All right, next card. We have an Upper Deck 1993 Michael Jordan. Once again, took a 9. And this was another one I thought was super clean. Now, sometimes I send older cards in, and I'm like, eh, there's an issue there. It's not going to be a 10. But so far, these two, I thought these were 10s easily. It didn't turn out that way. I like Jordan Base. I don't even care. I just want to get as many 10s as I can in Jordan. Some of them will go on my PC. Some of them I will try to resell. But... That's me. I do obviously like Jordan inserts, but give me the base, and if I can get a 10 out of it, I'm super happy. So, took another 9 there. We got another Jordan, and don't ask me. I have not been able to figure this out. I was studying this card. No idea. Took an 8, 1991 Upper Deck. Classic. If you collected cards in the 90s, you probably stumbled upon this or had this card. Uh, definitely a lot of these Upper Deck produced, but anyway, classic. And there are multiple Jordans in this from this set but not sure what the problem was but we went to an eight on that next here we go we finally got our first gem mint 10 from the 1994 collector's choice set pretty cool card it's a base card but uh super clean you can see nice corners super happy with that another jordan now this is the gold this is the 93 tops gold which obviously is a little more rare no idea why uh, I knew, actually, I will tell you why, one reason why. It's off-centered. If you look top to bottom, that's the reason. That's one reason. Maybe discoloration. Maybe. But the corners were sharp. Unless I missed something on the surface of the card, but the back looks great. So I don't know. I can, I, I can understand a 9, maybe even an 8, but I'm not quite getting un or understanding the 7, so if you see something on that, please let me know. Another Jordan, love the Ultra, 93 Ultra here, number 30 card, just a classic, and we took an 8 on it. So these typically have corner issues, and the reason I sent this in was because I was like, you know what, I don't see anything wrong with the corners. So there must have been something surface that I missed, just a reflection, that looks like a scratch, but I don't think I remember seeing that scratch on the card before I sent it in. So uh, a little disappointing, but there we are. Another Jordan, a nine, classic 1992 Stadium Club. This was the member's choice. And this one I knew was not going to be a 10, which is just surprising because I'm like, I didn't see anything wrong, but there must be scratches there. I was kind of seeing that now. But this one, perfect. Besides this top corner, it just has a little bit of white, as you can see there. And it's actually pretty easy to see. But besides that, this card is flawless. So I am mean, disappointed in it because other than that one corner, that would probably have a 10 on our hands, but so be it. All right, next Jordan. This is the 1992 Upper Deck McDonald's Jordan. I've been trying to get this. This is the second one I've sent in. The last one took an eight as well. So I don't know what the problem is, but we took another eight here. All right, this is one that RBC and I have been trying to get a 10 on this, and it is not a 10. It's a 9. 
The tens, uh, I think they're over two hundred dollars or so, between two and three hundred dollars if you can get a ten. And this one was centered, and I don't know what the problem was. Man, see anything on the back? Maybe the centering top bottom, but left right, I think I'm pretty good in that sixty forty range. So anyway, disappointed, but we took a nine there. A little disappointed as well in these, but let's just take a look at them. All rookies. This one took an eight, such a sweet card. This is the Fleer Ultra Rookie. And as I examine this one a little bit closer, corners look sharp. Surface is always hard to tell. The biggest thing on these, I think, is the edge for this. So there's a little bit of an edge issue, much I guess there hit a pretty big one, but that took me down to an eight, so I took an eight on that. I'll make a little money off of that. All right, oh, this is such a sweet card. I don't know what the problem was. Um, I thought this thing was super clean. I keep saying that, but I really did. And uh, corners look great. Oh, it's such a cool card. It would look a lot better if it had something other than a seven on it. Oh man, really cool. Seven, disappointing. All right, I'm going down to our last two cards. This is the card that I have been trying to get a 10. I can't tell you how many I've sent in. I've probably sent in about 10 at least of these, and I have not received a 10 yet. I have received a six, and yep, there's my seven. I've had a six before, so there's a seven. We'll put these side by side then in a second, but if you look there, if you look from here, looks super clean don't see anything wrong unless you see something with it turn to the back centering even on the back looks pretty clean maybe discoloration corners looks good trying to get it zoomed in and focused for you i don't know guys sir maybe i missed something surface wise i'm trying to zoom in here one more time i don't know you tell me and then we took a seven on that and I'm going to go ahead and put that there for now. And then here, last card, took a 9. I wish took a 10. Still trying to get my 10. Haven't gotten it yet. So let's look at the difference here after I show you close up. These cases have a little bit of scratches on them. It's annoying. Brand new. So you even look on the back here. The centering's off. It's heavier over here than here, but it took a 9. So... That's what's confusing to me. So if I hold up the seven and the nine back to back, or right up to get out, I'll sit them down here first. I don't know if anything stands out to you as you look at those, but uh, there they are. They're sitting nicely there. Um, if I look at color, I might say that the nine is a little bit more vibrant. The white border is a little more vibrant. Maybe even Kobe might be a little more vibrant, but not seeing anything from a distance from the back. And here's the nine and look at the heavy border compared to here. And this look very much more centered than here. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's just flip them back over, get a little more close up. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll flip them in the back a little closer up. You guys tell me. You guys might have better eyes than me. Might be missing, see what I'm missing. But anyway, that wraps up this, I think, 12 or 13 card submission that we did. And uh, as I said, a little disappointed. Expect to have at least two or three tens but only took one ten out of that batch interested in any of these go ahead and reach out to us and we can definitely try to make work a deal but otherwise they will be going up on ebay pretty soon so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video